It matters where you buy bundles. Paxify. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode at Wackerash Gaming. What a dramatic 48 hours it has been in state of survival. Before I could finish my first banana for the day, Discord went totally bananas. Armed with my thick gorilla skin, my trusty banana, I skipped into Discord to see what has just happened. Many of my fellow mammals may have already have heard by now that the state versus state warfare stage has been shortened to one hour. Since this has happened, there's been a lot of hysteria and panic, some mammals seem pretty frustrated and rightly so. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to say this will be rolled out to a selected group of states in August, and it could be yours, there has already been an official communication in the State of Survival Community page. There are a lot of videos out there talking about this topic, so I'm going to give you something different. In today's video, I'm going to focus on the key items to help you build a successful strategy for this new type of SVS warfare. Then, finally at the end of this video, I'll share with you the advantages and disadvantages based on my personal opinion. However before that, I would like to ask you. Would you like to save some money from your bundles? Would you like to be able to find a way to find good deals on your in-game bundle purchases? Would you like to see the monies you spend in the game take you further than ever before? Then let me introduce you to Paxify, the legitimate mobile discount service that is helping the gaming community save money. It is trusted by many of the top players in State of Survival and have received amazing positive feedback. There are many folks out there now that are already using Paxify enabling them to go further in their adventure than ever before. Now imagine what and where you would be by now if you've been using their services all these while? So what are you waiting for? Check out their link in the description below and start saving today. Please do keep in mind that the information that I'm going to share with you comes from the PTR server. Generally, most of the releases in the PTR server has found its way into the live server. Whilst the developer may change a few things, however, the essence of the concept should largely be similar. So with high level of confidence, we should get a very similar gameplay conceptually very soon. What are the available start times? There were three start time available. From 10 to 11 UTC, 1500 to 1600 UTC, and 2000 to 2100 UTC. On Thursday, the governor for each of the states will be obliged to select two of the three start time in order of preferences. Ideally, as this is the new SVS warfare stage, it requires maximum participation from your respective state members, thus it is important to choose a start time that enables your state members to participate actively. When can you cross state to fight? In the PTR server, we were allowed to cross state 30 minutes before the capital clash begins. This meant whilst the preferred time was 1500 to 1600 UTC, we were able to cross state from 1430 UTC. I'm not sure whether this would change, so take note of this. Therefore, strategically, you will want to prepare and make your state members aware that you would be able to cross state a lot earlier in order to take up key strategic spots around the fortress facilities first. Why did you say fortress facilities first and not the capital? Three minutes after the start of the capital clash, stage one will begin and the fortress facilities will be unlocked. The capital cannot be contested for the first 30 minutes, only the fortress facilities, hence the advice to take up key strategic spots around the fortress facilities first. At stage 2, the capital and towers will be open for contest after 30 minutes. Whilst the capital and towers are open for contest, the fortress facilities can continue to be contested, thus you have to be prepared to fight on several fronts. What are the objectives of the new SVS warfare? There are significant changes to this objective, where now the state with the most state points will achieve victory, with the new governor emerging from the alliance with the most points from the victorious state. Yes, you heard that right, the new governor will come from the alliance that obtained the most amount of alliance points from the victorious state. Alliance points can be obtained by occupying fortress facilities in the capital. Meanwhile each survivor will also obtain solo points when occupying the fortress facilities, capital or the towers. The solo points contribute towards the individual ranking, whilst the alliance points contribute towards the alliance ranking during the SBS warfare stage. However, you do not obtain any alliance points for occupying the towers at capital. The capital, fortress facilities and towers provide varying amount of alliance and solo points, thus when assigning your team, it is important to understand what these are. Fortress facilities 1. State points acquisition rate, 1200 points per minute. Solo points acquisition rate, 12 points per minute. Fortress facilities 2. 
State points acquisition rate, 900 points per minute. Solo points acquisition rate, 12 points per minute. Fortress facilities 3. State points acquisition rate, 900 points per minute. Solo points acquisition rate, 12 points per minute. Fortress facilities 4. State points acquisition rate, 600 points per minute. Solo points acquisition rate, 9 points per minute. Capital. State points acquisition rate, 3000 points per minute. Solo points acquisition rate, 18 points per minute. Towers. Solo points acquisition rate, 9 points per minute. Therefore, from a strategic point of view, having five alliances or five teams, where the strongest team prioritizes the fortress facilities one for the first 30 minutes at this provides the most alliance point, then moving to capital for the last 30 minutes seems like a decent plan. Meanwhile, also take note, occupying all four fortress facilities provides a total of 3,600 state points versus just focusing on the capital, where only 3,000 state points are obtainable. What are the launch rally times available? This has been amended with the new availability of 1 minute, 2 minutes, 3 minutes and 4 minutes. I suspect this is to facilitate the significant reduction of the SVS warfare duration. My strategic advice here is for you to make sure you make 1 minute, double rallies of all times, to increase the chances of your alliance making the occupation. Also consider using a different garrison defense leader versus the rally attack leader, to increase your chances of defending the buildings. Finally, the team members should consistently send reinforcements, if possible to ensure the building garrison can always be kept full as much as possible. Please note, similar to the Mining Mayhem finals, restrictions has been implemented where you can only join one rally at fortress facilities and capital. I repeat, you cannot join multiple rallies any longer. This increases the need to have an active and participative team at all times. Can I still make barbecues in the enemy state? Unfortunately, this looks like the end of state versus state barbecue. You can no longer attack or rally enemy settlements except when they are on the gray facilities tiles or the gray capital tiles. Yes, you can also attack or rally enemy settlements within the red zone of the gray facilities or capital tiles. I don't necessarily like this update, where there is a significant reduction to the PvP element of the SVS warfare stage. What about you? Let me know in the comments below of your thoughts. What about the rewards, have they been improved? The rewards look similar to the current SVS Warfare stage for both individual rewards and for Alliance rewards. However, I noticed legendary frags in the overall state rewards, which is a pretty neat touch. There was no change of rewards in the state Warfare store either. The only significant noteworthy change comes from the improvements in the Governor packs with Plasma Cores, Speedups, Mercenary Hats and Badge Tags. About time I tell you. Now then, we've arrived to the final part of the video, where I share with you my personal thoughts about the advantages and disadvantages in regards to this change. 1. For rally leaders and support rally leader, playing continuously for 8 hours is pretty tiring and getting boring. Many rally leaders and support rally leaders find this repeated event uneventful and are no longer motivated to play constantly for 8 hours. 2. There are drama in many states, and generally only one or two alliances end up focusing at the center capital fight. The rest of the state are left to fight for scraps. This change will increase the dynamics of the state event in order to win, all active alliance figure out a way to pool their resources together. 3. This is a game man whilst should be competitive, it should also be fun, relaxing and stress-free. COVID lockdowns are days of the past, and survivors are starting to open their doors to the outside world, no longer willing to spend hours and hours a day playing the same repetitive events. State of Survival realizes this, and have to evolve too. Next let's talk about the disadvantages that I can envisage. 1. One hour of fight is probably the biggest issue since there are many global servers within State of Survival. These international survivors come from many different countries from the world, and many will surely miss the fight depending on their time zone. 2. The experience I have during the one hour of Mining Mayhem Finals fight was the extremely bad lag experienced by myself and many other survivors. I do not believe for one moment that state of survival has invested enough to sustain the huge amount of traffic that will occur within this one hour of fight. 3. I can already see many unhappy survivors who may struggle to join and thus lose out on SBS and MIGO rewards. Survivors will either bombard customer services and mods with complaints at first, and if they don't feel their concerns are taken seriously, they will quit, thus making an already weak and unstable ecosystem further compromised. That's all folks. Thanks for watching.
If you like my video, do support this gorilla and smash the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos.